Shalom, it's David Benkoff, the Broadway maven. Of course, Stephen Sondheim is a brilliant lyricist, but how does he craft his texts? This video focuses on the text of one song, Have an Egg Roll, Mr. Goldstone. It's from the 1959 musical, Gypsy. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Have an egg roll, Mr. Goldstone. Have a napkin, have a chopstick, have a chair. Okay, it's pretty obvious to me that the first thing Sondheim did was he brainstormed a list of all the things that relate to Chinese food. Napkin, chopstick, spare rib, lychee, and then he tried to work them all into the lyric by rhyming them, by using alliteration, and playing with the words. So here we have, have an egg roll, Mr. Goldstone, have a napkin, have a chopstick, have a chair. Uh, chopstick, chair, we have some uh, alliteration there already. Have a spare rib, Mr. Goldstone, any spare rib that I can spare, I'd be glad to share. Okay, Sondheim loves to do this, to take a word with many meanings and stick those meanings together to come up with a lyric that means something else. So for example, then you career from career to career in Follies, brilliant lyric, and here, any spare that I can spare, I'll be glad to share, and we've got the uh, uh, rhyme there too. Have a dish, have a fork, have some fish, have a pork. Look at this internal rhyme, dish, fork, fish, pork, and those are all things that you find in a Chinese restaurant. Very clever. 20 times in the song, she uses the word have because this is a song about offering stuff to Mr. Goldstone. Put your feet up, feel at home. Have a coat, have a smoke. Would you like to hear a joke? I'll have you recite a poem. Okay, smoke, coke, joke. And then we have poem, which goes back and rhymes with home, but they're spelled differently. And sometimes I love to take words that are spelled differently, but still rhymed. And does home and poem rhyme? Well, yeah, when you talk the way Rose does, you are not, sort of a, not an upper class accent and you might use poem uh, as a way to say that word. So it totally works. Cold stone, tell me any little thing that I stew. I like how the phrase have to sounds like an afterthought, but it rhymes with that I can do, so it works with the rest of the stanza. Everybody give the cheer, Santa Claus is sitting here, Mr. Goldstone, I love you. Here again, we have what Sondheim likes to do with some of his rhymes when he can, which is rhyme words that are spelled differently cheer and hear totally rhyme, but they're spelled differently, which makes the mind work harder, which is more satisfying and more pleasant. Also, I just want to point out that the phrase Santa Claus shows up in Everything's Coming Up Roses when she says sunshine in Santa Claus, and I don't think it's a, an accident that he uses that phrase here too. The Broadway Maven offers a free online class every Monday at noon and 7 p.m. Visit thebroadwaymaven.com for details. Have a gold stone, Mr. Eggroll. Tell me any little thing that I can do. Have some fried rice, Mr. Soy sauce. Have a cookie, have a few. Okay, here she really starts to become manic, which is kind of a preview of what happens at the end of the show with Rose's turn. She's just getting wild and she's getting confused, saying, gold, have a goldstone Mr. Egg Roll and calling him Mr. Soy Sauce. But she's so excited and rhyming do with few reminds us of the previous lyric. What's the matter, Mr. G? Have another pot of tea, Mr. Goldstone. something you commonly find in a Chinese restaurant. And how did he rhyme it? He went with Mr. G. I think that's a very clever way to do it. Also notice the alliteration in matter, Mr. Not only does the first letter uh, uh, alliterate, but the last letter, matter, Mr. There are good stones and bad stones and curb stones and flat stones. Touchstones and such stones as them. Here again, I believe that Sondheim sat down and wrote out every word that ends in stone and then moved them around to create lyrics like this one. Also notice the internal rhyme, touchstones and such stones. And then he gives us them, but makes us wait for it for 18 more words until we get to the word gem. There are big stones and small stones. 
gallstones and grindstones and gallstones, but gallstone is a gem. Look at all the G's in this uh, uh, series of lines. We've got big stones and small stones and grindstones and gallstones and gold stones, and even gem is spelled with a G. This is not a coincidence. There are my stones, there are millstones, there's a cherry, there's a yellow, Okay, just like we had Mr. and Matter, here we have milestones and millstones. Great wordplay. Must be old songs, any old song, only old song will do. Notice we have both a don't and a do, and we have a want and a will. And by the way, want and will mean the same thing, and they're alliterative. Okay, blink and you'll miss this one. We all scream refers to we all scream for ice cream. Of course, we've got s and s with scream and stone. But most importantly, when do you eat ice cream? You eat it at the end of the meal, and this is the dessert for the song. Pick another Sondheim lyric you like and analyze it just like we did in this video. Explain your answers in the comments. My first Patreon supporter will be recognized in a future video. And here's another video I think you'll like.